Hi, I'm Brian McCarthy with Always Home, and I thought I'd take a few minutes today and give you a testimonial. I did change the names to protect the innocent, but all the events of the story really are true. It's a story about Dan and Terry Moretti, and they live in the Oaks in a 2,400 square foot home. Uh, it's a two-story home, and it's nestled in the Oaks uh, right here in southwestern Florida. Uh, they live in upstate New York and they own their own company and they have one thing that's in common with almost all of our clients and they just can't be home all the time. This is their second home. Well, one Sunday afternoon when Valerie and I were sitting around the house because we are on call 24-7, we get a call on the phone and it's Terry Moretti and she starts telling her story. Um, it's a long journey and it starts with Valerie, can you help me? We purchased our home um, in the Oaks about two years ago. And unfortunately, because of the economic conditions, we've had to spend more time in our business than we thought. And so we haven't been able to get down to our second home as frequently as we would like. When we bought the house, we got to know our next door neighbors. And because it was so convenient and they lived here permanently, uh, we all agreed that they would watch our home when we're away. And that seemed to work out great because who's going to be more responsible than your next door neighbor? Well, Valerie listening to the story knew there was something coming down and there was going to be a problem. Well, Valerie, about nine months went by and we couldn't get home. So I started to get that uneasy feeling, you know, when I, you get in your stomach that something's wrong, maybe terribly wrong, because we just haven't heard from our neighbors. Uh, so I have a friend that lives down in Venice, and uh, I asked her to go up and check on the home because she did have another key. Well, she, my friend went into the home, and she unlocked the garage door and kind of stumbled over a lot of boxes over there, and she was a little surprised that all these boxes were still unpacked in the garage, but then went in through the kitchen. And to her chagrin, there in the kitchen sink were a bunch of dishes and there was plates on the table. Uh, she opened the refrigerator door and there was food in the refrigerator. She moved into the family room and there were newspapers and magazines spread out all over the floor and the TV was even running. Well, she knew at this point that that wasn't because of us because we hadn't been in the home for nine months. She walked upstairs and sure enough, the beds were unmade and clearly somebody had been using the bathroom. So she went down into the garage and she Gin stumbled over all these storage boxes that were in the garage floor and she noticed that they didn't say Moretti on the box, they said Clark. So she immediately called Terry and said, Terry, we got a serious problem here because these, not only is somebody living in this house, but somebody's storing their household goods in your garage because the boxes are all labeled Clark. Well, Terry, obviously concerned, now became concerned about their new Jeep that was sitting in the garage. And it was a brand new Jeep that they bought last time they were down here and it only had 11,000 miles on it. So she had her friend check the Jeep odometer. Guess what? 16,000 miles on the odometer. Somebody had driven their Jeep 5,000 miles in their absence over the last nine months. Well, Terry's my friend and I, uh, got together and said, well, we got to have a solution. We got to get my neighbor out of here. We got to find somebody who's going to look after my home. So Terry's friend, my friend, um, basically said that she knew an ex-policeman that actually did home watch and that she could contact him and they would then be able to look after the house for her. So I agreed to go do that. That's what Terry said. And they arranged for this ex-policeman to go in and watch their home. Well, after about six more months, uh, Terry and, and Dan Moretti came back down to their second home and they go into their house and at least the all evidence of their neighbor's boxes and everything were gone. There were no there were more food in the refrigerator and obviously nobody had been living there. But to their great chagrin, when they went upstairs and looked into their dresser drawers, uh, about $3,500 worth of jewelry had been stolen. As the story unfolded, they had a credit card 
in their house and the ex-policeman had taken the credit card and run up over $6,000 worth of charges against that card. And now they were faced with an identity theft problem that they had to go deal with. So now we come to the point where Terry is sitting here talking to Valerie about, geez, Valerie, can you help? Needless to say, Valerie was astounded by this story. I mean, Terry was distraught and angry, and rightfully so. What is really surprising about this story is here for the third time, Terry is going to trust someone to look after their house. Fortunately, they called Always Home this time. We're licensed, bonded, and insured, and probably what she should have done the first time. Um, so they continued their conversation, and Terry asking Valerie, well, what precisely are the services that you recommend that I have? So Valerie started off with, well, our basic and uh, most economical service is we hold your keys. We call it the key holder service. And for basically $15 a month, we hold your key. And, there, and in case of an emergency or your need, we will respond and go to your home and deal with whatever issues there are. Um, if it is an alarm going off, um, emergency personnel need to be directed or told not to come to the house if it's a false alarm, saving you false alarm fees. If we need to go to the house for an emergency, we can uh, let the emergency personnel, either law enforcement or fire, enter the house. They are um, not allowed to enter the house without someone there who is authorized to admit them. Uh, second thing that we would recommend is that you probably install a security system into your home because currently you do not have one. And our preferred service provider is DeHart Alarm Systems, and we believe they are the premier security firm in Sarasota with their own monitoring center right here. So they are familiar with all the law enforcement agencies, and we work closely with them when an alarm is activated. Um, so that would be step two. Um, if you have grave concerns about the perimeter security of your home, uh, they would be happy to install camera systems so that you can monitor the coming and going of everyone coming and going out of the house, as well as to watch us when we come in and perform our services. Third, I would recommend that you engage us for home watch. Uh, we recommend weekly, uh, but the very minimum is monthly. Uh, a lot of people are unfamiliar with some of the requirements of their insurance policies when they are absent from their home, uh, generally for more than 30 days. This is grounds for the insurance company to disallow an insurance claim from you because they will assume that you have been negligent and that you have not had either had anybody monitoring your home who is licensed uh, and insured or yourself, you were not living in that home during the time that whatever the accident or damage was caused. So for $50 a month, we would go out and contract with these service providers and we will monitor them, supervise them, and go out to your property and ensure that they are performing the service that we have contracted with them for. One nice thing about what we do is we consolidate all these bills into one bill so that you don't have to deal with bills flying around and going to different addresses. They all come to us and then we send you one bill a month. So it makes it much more convenient, takes a lot of the hassles out of all these service providers in your second home. Um, the types of services that we will supervise, everything from grounds maintenance to gardening to uh, lawn fertilization and pest control, uh, power washing, the exterior of your house uh, and the interior, looking after such things as your HVAC system, uh, housekeeping, again, inside your home pest control. Um, any type of maintenance service that you would require in your home, we can handle for you. Uh, so that was kind of the conclusion of that phone call uh, between Valerie and Terry. And weeks went by and everything was going pretty smoothly until during one of our home watch inspections, we noticed there were some swarms of bees up on the second floor of the Moretti's house. So we brought out uh, our pest control uh, preferred service provider and checked it out and sure enough there was a rather substantial beehive growing up under the soffit into the walls of their home on the second floor. 
Well, this is not an easy task here because you can't just exterminate the bees, which is what the Moretti's had done with their previous service provider. Not only did it not kill all the bees, but if you don't get the hive out, all of the wax and the honey then migrates down the wall and can actually penetrate into the drywall of the home. So you have to get up there and remove the soffits and get in there and remove all the hive, which we had our service provider do. And then we had our handyman go out and repair the damage done to the soffits in order to remove the, the bees. So other things went on during the next six months. Uh, we arranged for some furniture to be shipped back to the Moretti's primary home. Uh, we arranged for a four point uh, wind mitigation inspection for their insurance agent. And one of the things that they had given the ex-policeman to do was to build a cage over their pool and then given him a $2,500 deposit on a $10,000 cage construction. Well, of course, the cage never got done and the $2,500 deposit was lost, but we were able to build that cage uh, for $6,000 for them. So not only we do we handle the maintenance of the home, but we are fully capable of handling uh, any improvement or addition that you may need to your home. And in fact, it's not uncommon for us to do almost complete kitchen remodels while the client isn't even here. Because oftentimes when you do come down, it isn't, um, you're not here to handle home projects. You're here to relax and go out and enjoy yourself. So what I like about this story is that it kind of hits on all of the four categories that Always Home focuses on. And those are inspections, protection, maintenance, and improvements. Uh, we can provide all of those services for you um, one stop. You don't need to go anywhere else but to Always Home. So our, our motto is, when you can't be home, we're always home. And I think uh, Terry Moretti made the comment last we spoke to her, uh, which was, I sure wish I'd known about Always Home before when we purchased the house. So thanks again. I thought it was a great testimonial, and I wanted to share that with everybody.